Hey there, hope you're having a wonderful day. In this video, we're going to go over how to create multiple enemies in Pygame. So in the previous tutorial, we've created a single enemy and in our Mega Man game, the enemy is called Metal. So just to show you what we have so far, I'm going to run the program. And you can see the enemy drops down from the sky. So this is Metal and I can touch Metal. And if I do, we will detect collision in the form of a print statement. Okay. So this is what we went over in the previous video. Now, so far we just have one enemy, but in a video game, it is way more fun if you had multiple enemies. So I'm going to show you how to create multiple enemies and all the enemies are going to be Matals. So we're going to create multiple entities of this enemy. All right, so let's scroll down and you can see over here, we created one instance of Matal. So I'm going to comment this out. And instead, what we want is a list because with a list, we can store multiple objects without having to create multiple variables. So I'm just going to do Matals plural and create an empty list. So we're going to do the same thing as we did for tiles. So now that we don't have a single Matal enemy variable, you can see we have some errors and we'll go ahead and address them. So the first thing I want to do is create these Matal enemies and I'm going to do them where I create the tiles and that is in this create map function. So inside this create map function, I'm going to add another for loop for I in range three. So I'm going to create three Matals. So Matal is going to be Matal. The X position is player.x plus tile size times three. So this was where we placed the original Matal, and that is three tiles to the right of the player. Now I'm going to modify this and change it based on I. So I starts at zero and then one and then two. So here I'm just going to add an offset of I times 1.5. So the first Matal is where I is zero. So this is zero so we get tile size times three and then the next one is where i is one so we get three plus 1.5 so that gives us 4.5 tiles to the right and then the third one is when i is two so that is two times 1.5 which gives us three so three plus three that gives us six so this third metal is going to be six tiles to the right and then for the Y position, I'm going to have them all start from the same height, which is six tiles down from the top of the screen. So tile size times six. All right. Once we create the Matal, we need to append it to our list. So Matals dot append Matal. So we've created three Matals, so three enemies, and we added them to the list. Now we need to render them. So I'm going to scroll down and in our draw function, I'm going to use a for loop. So here I'll do for metal in metals, and I'm just going to indent this, and there you go. And then in our move function, I'm just going to comment this out just to show you what we have so far. So if I save and run the program, you can see we have three enemies, so three metals, and the first one is three tile sizes to the right of our player. And the next one is 4.5 tile sizes to the right. And the last one is six tile sizes to the right. Now we want to apply gravity to the Matals so that they would drop down. So this first one will land on this tile and these two will land on the bottom tiles over here. So let's uncomment this. And here, all we need to do is place the code inside a for loop. So for Matal in Matals, and I just need to indent this. And there you go. So for each Matal, we're going to apply gravity to the velocity Y and then apply velocity Y to the Y position of the Matal and check for collision. And for each Matal, we check to see if there is a collision with the player. All right, so let's save and run a program. And you can see the three Matals fall from the sky. The first one lands over here and the other two land on the bottom platform. And collision detection works as well. So if I collide with this Matal to my right, you can see we get the print statements and I can also move to the right and collide with these two at the same time, actually. All right, so that's how you can create multiple enemies for your game. Just like how we use a list for the tiles, we can use another list for the enemies. And we will also use a list for items and bullets. So anything that we have multiple of will be placed inside a list. And in the next video, I'm going to show you what to do for collision detection. Basically, 
if I collide with these enemies, you can see we have a lot of print statements. So if each print statement represents one damage, then we are taking a lot of damage in a second. Now there are some ways to resolve this, which I'll go over in the next video. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure you give this video a like. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. And if you want to stay up to date for more Python game programming tutorials like this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.